गाइस वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो टुडे आई हैव अनदर प्रोबेबिलिटी क्वेश्चन विद यू दिस इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द कांसेप्ट ऑफ बर्थडे प्रॉब्लम एंड दीस क्वेश्चंस कैन बी वेरी ट्रिकी एट टाइम्स आई हैव अ सिंपल प्रॉब्लम विद यू लेट्स डिस्कस दैट बिफोर वी मूव ऑन टू एनी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड वन द प्रोबेबिलिटी दैट आउट ऑफ 10 पर्संस ऑल बोर्न इन अप्रैल एट लीस्ट टू हैव द सेम बर्थडे इज 30 c 10 upon 30 to the power 10 is it 1 minus 30 c 10 upon 30 factorial is it 30 to the power 10 minus 30 c 10 upon 30 to the power 10 or none of the above well the first thing that you have to keep in mind is that it's a bode problem it's coming from the bode problem and you're talking about the month april here so how many days are there in april that's the first thing to note and how many people are we talking about that's the second thing so if it's april it has to be 30 days right so we have 30 days and we are talking about 10 people in the question okay so which means that if i talk about uh, the options that these 10 people have so each of them if i say that uh my total so probability is basically favorable cases upon the total cases right so if i talk about total cases so how many total cases do i have so each of the 10 people we all have 30 days in which you know we can have a birthday okay if we are in a classroom and we are 10 of us each of us have all of us have birthdays in in april but of course we don't know we're talking about probability here so each of us have an option of 30 days our birthday could be any in any anywhere in in these 30 days right so that means total number of cases would be 30 to the power 10 because it's happening simultaneously it's a product always when you're you counting so whatever happens simultaneously is a product whatever are your cases separate cases either this will happen or this will happen nothing will happen together then you are adding okay so therefore the total number of cases is 30 to the power 10 which tells you that option b is definitely not there because it's talking about 30 factorial so 30 to the power 10 is the total outcome total outcome so it's a or c but let's see conceptually what it would be now if we are talking about say e is the event that we are looking at and the event is that uh at least two have the same birthday at least at least two have the same birthday or they're sharing the birthday now if i start looking at cases it's at least two that means at least three could be there uh, at least two at least two so two people could be sharing three people could be sharing so on and so forth so whenever you have at least what is the best thing to work at the best thing you can work out in at least problem is by looking at total so if you want to know the number of cases um if for event e it would be the total cases minus if you take the case of none that is none of them share their birthday so total minus the number of ways number of ways for e would be total minus total ways minus number of ways in which 10 people 10 persons these 10 persons have different birthdays they don't share birthdays because if all of them are not sharing their birthday if if they have nothing in no, no common birthdays then that means no two people are uh, you know uh a sharing birthday so you will get the at least case share they all have different birthdays 
So the best way to get the answer would be total minus the number of, uh, number of ways in which all of them have different birthdays. So total ways we already know it is 30 to the power 10. And the number of ways in which all of them have a different birthday would be. Let's again think in terms of cases. So we are 10 people in a classroom. If I say that I have an option of all 30 days, but my birthday is different from all of you, then the next person sitting with me will only have 29 options for his or her birthday. The next person sitting with this person can't share his or her birthday with me or you. So 28, then 27, so on and so forth. It will go up till what? So it will go on till there are 10 people, right? So 30, 29, 28, 27, 26 options for the next one, 25 options for the next one, 24 options for the next one, 23, 22, 21 options. And that makes 10 people. And whole, this is the num this is the number of ways in which you can have at least two people will be sharing a birthday. Because what have we done? We have taken the total cases and we've subtracted the cases in which all of them have different birthdays. So that means all the other cases will be the cases where at least two of them will be sharing a birthday. Okay. So your uh, concern probability. So the probability of the required thing the required probability will be the favorable cases upon the total cases. So the favorable cases are 30 to the power 10. And what can you call this scenario? This scenario is basically you are permuting 10 people out of 30 people. So it is 30 P 10 upon 30 to the power 10. Let's see if we have this option. Well, we don't. So none of the none, none of the above should be the correct option here. It is none of the above. The correct answer is D, that is none of the above. Because in C, actually, the thing is that in the option I've given you 30 C10, but it should be 30 P10 because permutation should be used here in the birthday problem. This is what is a birthday problem. You should actually try to brush up more problems related to it. Uh, not that difficult to tackle, but some could be tricky. Thank you very much.